Hi guys, so today's video is brought to you by my very, very messy room. I think we should just call this week random week because it seems like it's kind of random. So I found that 23 subscribers. That's, that's really awesome. And I'm so surprised that we gained subscribers this fast. It's like... 20 freaking free. I, I am like, I'm flabbergasted. So, that's nice. I love you all. You're nice people. Tomorrow is the 1st of, of December. I almost said September, but it's December. And uh, we have this advent calendar thing we do in Denmark, which is kind of a big tradition. Which means that I, I want to show you some of my advent calendars. Uh, first of all, I have this calendar, which is freaking awesome. I bought this in London a couple of weeks ago, and I was so I got I just got so excited when I found this. Then I have um, to have like a chocolate calendar or things like this. It's a pretty big thing here in Denmark to count down to Christmas this way. Uh, and I also have this. This is more of, of an adult advent calendar because it's like you can win money. It's not like chocolate <laughs> or things like this. So that's really nice. Hopefully I'll win loads of money so I can... Maybe I could send stuff to you if I won a lot of money. Then we also have this, well, this one. This is uh, one of the major calendars we have here in Denmark. We have this thing in Denmark where each year we have TV calendars, kind of like advent calendars on TV. This is one of them. This is one of the major TV calendars we have. Uh, where every single day up till uh, Christmas we have like an, an episode where there will be like a picture and for example the first there will probably be a picture about something in that episode so it's kind of a nice way to count down and Tanya and uh, I'm not sure what you should watch actually I I was I would say you should watch Mokomishon that's the Swedish name it's called Reisehölle but that's the in Danish I'm sorry <laughs> And then it's called Unit 1 in English. It's a pretty good Danish crime drama thing. I like it a whole lot. I didn't mention it because I didn't want to bring up any Danish stuff, but it's good. And it seems to be pretty popular in Sweden too, because there is a Swedish Wikipedia page for it. <laughs> so that's my conclusion. <laughs> and Maggie, your brother, I have the same thing with my brother. He's both nice and sweet and popular and social and outgoing and I'm just sitting here being so freaking introvert and shy. Yeah, I'm good at talking to a camera but that's about it. And I wouldn't want him to watch this either. That would just be awkward. And Brianna, I feel pretty much the same way about customers that you do. I don't like them. They're not supposed to be there, which is the reason why I would never be able to be in a shop. I would get totally stressed out. I've gotten used to um, the customers I have on my job and most of them are old people which means that are, most of them are just slightly weird. And I think over time I've had this job for like three years that I've gotten better at talking to old people than my own age people because just chitty chatting with old people is pretty easy when you've done this like once a week for three years so which is kind of sad but I'm actually surprised that you came to the conclusion that none of us would send you anything inappropriate so I, I almost took that as a challenge challenge to send you something inappropriate and but then again you're completely right probably none of us would send you anything inappropriate so that's good so, things are nice. I'm looking forward to all your videos next week. Bye.